It's a frosty Tuesday morning in May. It's about 33 degrees. There's literally a light frost. It's the first week of May. But anyway, we got set up on these birds. It's going to be a crystal clear day, sunny. The sun's just starting to come up. It got light a lot earlier than I expected. I got in here a little late this morning, but I don't think it matters. We're actually hunting more backyard birds on public land. So these birds come down, they roost above these houses, and they actually feed through this lady's yard down into the lower fields. So you usually gotta wait till late morning before we even get a crack at them, but I've made a few calls just to let them know we're here. Got the decoys set up. Got my bow with me, I'm all by myself this morning. Stick with me, it's public land, turkey on with the bow and arrow. This is team no bitching. Let's see if we can get this done. It's a big bird I scouted yesterday afternoon. going on? It's uh, 9.30 in the morning. That bird went around me this morning and never came in. I don't even know if he looked at the decoys or not. But he hit the field I was in and went away from me. And he crossed a rock wall into some other big field. So as I was heading back, the way he went, I didn't want to booger him, so I took my time. So as I'm walking back to the Jeep to get out of here, maybe hunt him another day. I hear him gobbling just over the rock wall, so I set up in a spot that I've seen him many times over the years and late in the morning, come from that rock wall and through this open area here and this brushy stuff, and they go out to some fields that are right here. It's a little high spot to my right. They pass right through, so with any luck, I'll either be able to pull them through this corridor or up the cart road that's behind me. 
He's been gobbling, so it's about quarter to nine. I'm gonna uh, probably just kind of call very little bit and just sit this out because he should come through here at some point. Stick with me. Two with the bullhead tagged out in Massachusetts, baby. No bitching outdoors. Woo! Look at the hooks on this bird. This might be one of my best. Yes! What a big bird! What a big bird. Came in silent, huge beard on him. Woo! <laughs> yes. Oh, patience pays off. So fired up. Look at this turkey. <laughs> I, don't think I, I don't know if I've ever shot one that looks like this. I don't think so. Oh, look at that turkey. Yeah. Big old beard on him. Look at the size of that thing. Big paintbrush. Great beard. Great spurs. Wow. Big full fan. I was on this bird this morning behind the houses, and uh, you know he is doing his thing. These birds are pretty tough to hunt in this area, but uh, 
Sometimes when you stick with it and you hunt them late morning, I was willing to sit here till noon if I had to. I'd have got the blind settled in about quarter to nine after he had kind of cut behind me and, and trailed off. So I was heading back, actually going to leave and set up somewhere else, and I heard him gobbling in the big fields, and I know this is a great late morning spot, and this open area right here in the brush, I know they crossed right here to get to this field. I figure it's good as any to set up the blind, and he came right into the decoy. I'll tell you what, this, uh, this guy right here, four for four this year. I love it. Oh, actually, five or five, because Jeremy shot the decoy, so it almost counts as a kill. Got it all on video on public land. I am so pumped to take a look at these spurs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No bitching outdoors. Public land ball hunting.